What up beauty sent me her easy blur foundation so we're gonna try it out today hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do a sit down video on the new Huda beauty easy blur foundation i'm gonna be trying these three different shades that were sent to me along with the foundation brush but there's gonna be a twist to this i'm not really gonna be using the primer <gasps> because i want to see whether it works on the other normal products that i use i was sent three different shades to try 350g 400g and 420g i'm usually a neutral golden shade depending on what season i'm in but i'm gonna try my summer shade 400g and this one is a similar one to huda shade this is a new face brush that was also sent to me it's very dense but it's very very soft so i can imagine this to give you intense coverage but also give you a very flawless complexion let's do some quick swatches of these three shades this is 350g i will blend them out for you i've not done a great job with that but let's move on 400g which is my shade and huda's and lastly i've got 420g the shade is toffee so these are the three shades that i was gifted by Huda Beauty and I almost forgot I wanted to see the packaging. This is very simplistic packaging and when you twist it open it has a nozzle so you can put it at the back of your hand. I would avoid applying this directly on the brush because I feel this is going to be a very intense coverage but it will give you a flawless finish. So anyway let's go and blend these swatches using my handheld mirror here. Let me just blend the first shade. Your foundation shade is going to differ from when it is wet to when you blend it out. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing one. Blending macchiato now and this is the last shade toffee blend it out. So you can instantly see how it has changed. Now by looking at these swatches in my monitor, Macchiato is my normal shade but right now it looks like I'm going to be using Toffee. So let's apply Toffee instead of Macchiato and see how it looks. I'm just going to shake the foundation first. You can see this side is more textured as well so I want to work on this side first and then we will see on not so textured side. So I'm popping some foundation on the back of my hand. So the way I like to apply is put it at the center of the face first. That's where I need maximum coverage anyway because of hyperpigmentation and then I blend upwards. And now using my Huda Beauty brush, let's dab that in. Huda says that this foundation can be built up and the more you build up, the more blurring the effect is going to be. So I find that really interesting because normally the more I build up, the more cakey my face looks. So this seems like a good match though it's made me a bit more golden than what I normally am and you can see my neck it's more neutral so I think macchiato goes on my neck now and toffee on my face but we can work around it. That's okay. So this is with just a few dots on the face. Sitting pretty well on texture. It's not looking very obvious at least on the mirror. And now since Huda said to build it up I'm going to apply some more which is going to be a bit scary because I don't like cakey makeup at all but I trust in Huda and her products because they always work for me. Okay, that has blurred it up even more. That looks stunning actually on the skin. And I'm sure it'll probably blur even more if I'd use the primer. Can you see a difference here? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts. And now let's apply it to the rest of the face and see how it looks all put together. Again, applying it only on the places where I need first. I love that it's not emphasizing any texture because foundations like these have a tendency of doing it. And I absolutely detest when that happens. It's not too dewy. It's not matte either. So it's more of a natural finish. It feels very put together with very less effort and that is the whole face with just the foundation on and i'm sure if you're following me you know i don't apply foundation underneath my eyes at all skin underneath the eyes thin anyway so you don't want to be packing too much product so what are your thoughts on this toffee shade you think it's matching me do you find it too golden also i forgot to mention that the easy blur foundation has been made in italy so you can be sure that the formulation is going to be top notch and it also has 1.5 percent niacinamide in it so just be aware and now i'm going to pair it with the easy bake powder this is in the shade banana bread i use this one most often it's amazing so i'm not going to apply it with a brush instead i'm going to be using this triangular kind of sponge because i want to make it more blurred and i'm going to show you a quick tip on how to do that so take your powder and take your sponge dab it in and make sure the entire sponge is coated with powder you're going to tap this off on the hand so what you're doing is you're getting rid of excess powder and you're also going to get even application on your sponge now instead of just dabbing it anyway i want you to press it in this motion into the skin i'll show you this technique on the most textured side of my face and now with dabbing motions I want you to apply the powder so it's basically a press and lift press and lift I'm exaggerating this so you can see and you can see how it has already blurred out underneath the eye and I'm going to do the same thing over here press and lift again I'm exaggerating the movements this is not how you're going to do it and if your makeup moves into your smile lines here do the same thing and look at that it's instantly blurred you can see how it's a bit shiny here and look at this side so let's do the same thing here too 
Look at that. Blurred. So now that I've shown you the way the Easy Blur foundation looks and how to apply your powder as well, I'm going to give you my quick and final thoughts. This is again a first impressions. If you want to wear test, please comment below and I will do that one for you. So overall, I do feel that it has blurred out the skin a lot, but I feel that if I use the primer, that's going to be instant blurring as well. And that's a silicone free one. So that's even more impressive. I really like how lightweight it is. It's looking beautiful. Oda really nails her foundation products. You have seen me use it all the time or at least most of the time and I really rave about it. Try the mini if you're not very sure but I'm sure that you will love it. So as my first impressions I would really recommend this product. You can see a lot of blurring and once you pair the easy blur foundation with the powder it's literally a match made in heaven. So this was my first impressions review of the new Huda Beauty easy blur foundation. Leave a comment below and let me know if you are keen to try this out and if you would like a wear test comment that below as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more reviews like these, tutorials, eyeshadow tutorials, product reviews, make sure you're subscribing and hitting that bell notification. And I will see you again in my next video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.